Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. On this video, a short tutorial on the new feature of FSI Panel 2020 Advanced Edition on the PMDG 737. We had this feature already on the 777. And as we are able to read the FMC on the PMDG fleet, I have made now this feature on the 737. This is how to basically slew ahead on your flight plan if you want to finish your flight earlier, having this, the correct fuel and be at the right time at the exit point of your route, this is the perfect feature you can use now on the PMDG 737. So I'm just airborne now. I've been about half an hour into the flight from Geneva to Tenerife South Airport. And I will show you how you can now move ahead easily with FSI Panel 2020 Advanced Edition. All right, so let's jump in the cockpit. All right, here we are in the cockpit of our 737 and as you can see right now, 9.10 local time and we're expecting to arrive in Tenerife at 12.41, so I have another 3 hours and 30 minutes flight time. And for some reason, I don't want to finish that flight, so I want to move ahead. You can see that right now, I'm over France, I just departed Geneva and I have to cross Spain and Portugal to go all the way to uh, Tenerife, right there. So what you can do now with FSI panel is slew to any waypoint you have in your flight plan and FSI panel will adjust the fuel that you're supposed to have on, on board and as well the time. So if we go to route data for any of these waypoints, you can see the ETA for every waypoint. So if we take, for example, Zulu Alfa Romeo, we should be flying overhead at 941 Zulu and so on and so on. So what you have to make sure, guys, when you do that, make sure you are stable and that the aircraft is not above the maximum certified flight level for sure. And then check which waypoint you would like to be slewed to. Make sure that you select a waypoint which is at the correct altitude. Right now we are at flight level 350. FSI panel will not descend or climb any aircraft. So what you need to do is just move to a waypoint which is still at flight level 350. So here, the closest I can go for my approach will be Vedod. This is just before top of descent and then I have my approach into uh, Tenerife. So I will show you how you can do that with FSI panel just now. So let me start FSI, let me start FSI panel, sorry. Okay, so here we are in FSI panel. I just started the software. One thing I wanted to show you as well is the navigation database expired. If you have this message, make sure you just start Navigraph Hub and then you will be able to upgrade your database. Let me show you that just in case I receive some message that you don't find where to update uh, the database. So you go into Navigraph Hub, Microsoft Fly Flight Simulator install, installed sorry, outside of Simulator and here you get FSI panel and you can update it from here. All right, so now that we are into the software, the first thing we want to do is select our destination airport. We are going to Tenerife so, uh, South, so this is Golf Charlie Tango Sierra. And now I plan to land on runway 07, so I just select that. Now to get to the new feature, you go to Select Fix, and there you will see here the slew to flight plan waypoint. This is still a beta, so give it a shot and let me know what you think about it. So let me click on slew aircraft and we are going to see what happened in the simulator. So if I go back to the simulator, we are getting a message reviewing your flight plan waypoint from the FMC, please wait. So as you can see now on the first officer, FMC FSI panel is reading the waypoint. By the way, you might have to restart your uh, MSFS as FSI panel will activate now the SDK as well for the FMF FMC as we are now able to read the FMC. Now that this is done, FSI panel has all the waypoints in memory and the next thing you have to do, as you can see on the instruction, put the desired waypoint on top of the Lex page and do not execute. So let's have a look at that. So we are going to the right here and we said we would like to fly to the last waypoint. Let's select, for example, Vedod. If we want to see what time we're supposed to be in Vedod, this is 11.39, so let's put it down here. And now we can go ahead and do that. So what I will do, I'll take Vedod exactly as it says here and I put it on the top, but not on page four, on the top of the legs page. So click on legs and this is where you want to put it. As soon as I do that, 
FSI panel will be working on the position. So let's see what happens. I click it here. And now we will be moving. So I go back to my captain seat. And I'm just watching the show. You can get some some overspeed or some issues. Do not worry, FSI panel will set everything for you. And position updated. You can see we are back in VNAV. And we are at level 350. Now if we look at the time, 11.35 right now. And we're expecting to cross VDOT at 11.39. Exactly what we had in mind. The fuel has reduced to what we were supposed to have on board. So you have the correct fuel and the fuel pumps have been switched off. So basically now you are in the exact position with the exact fuel and the timing that you should be if you would have flown the complete route and you can just program your approach and start your descent in around 200 miles in that case. So this is as well now available on the PMDG 737. It's a beta feature. I need your uh, feedback on this. Let me know if you like it and if you save some time uh, using this feature. One thing I want to mention is that this feature is unfortunately not available on the Airbus, for example, Phoenix, as we cannot read the MCDU. For that, FSI panel should be able to read the FMC or the MCDU to be able to, uh, to move the aircraft. That's it, guys. If you have any question or comment, please drop it in the section down below, and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you, guys, and see you very soon for another video. Bye-bye.